Hi, I am Ali Ahmed. In this video, we are going to do a deep dive analysis of export phase, which is fourth phase of vCenter server upgrade. So let's jump into the log and see what is going on there in the log. So if you look at vm install.log, you can easily identify that you are uh, the installer is in export phase. It is creating um, a input uh, input file, and uh, you can see uh, here uh, it is also creating an output file. So if I go next, after it has created the, those file, it is going to start actually exporting the data uh, to the export folder. So you can see it is setting a percentage and it is based on the component. It is just, you know, um, exporting those component to the export folder. So if we, if you really want to uh, look at what is going on in detail for this component, then you need to look at the respective export um, uh, log uh, for the component. So for each and every component, there will be export log created for you. So the location of the comp, uh, you know, the export log would be user temp uh, VCS upgrade directory. So this is the continuation of the same log, which we saw earlier. Uh, here you can see now the status is, status is 100% completed. Uh, export uh, output.json file is being updated. And if we go next, we can see the same thing in VIM VCS MSI.log, but in a different way. You can see what are all the components that um, uh, 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 vCenter installer has exported, and the value is 1. That means uh, operation was successful. So if you want to look at uh, the directory where the actually exported data is residing, is the, uh, the location is C program data VMware vCenter server and the directory name is export. So in this directory, the data has been exported. So this was pretty much about export phase. We saw in this phase, installer was exporting the data in export directory so that it can import in later phases. In next video, we will do a deep dive analysis of uninstall phase. Thank you.